Nvidia Shield TV is one of the most powerful Android TV boxes out there. With 4K and HDR, it's not only great for streaming, but with GeForce Now that's integrated into Steam, it's also an awesome controller. Not as good as the PS4, but it's pretty darn good if you've got a good internet connection. That said, there are a lot of tips for Nvidia Shield TV that you'd only know if you did a deep dive into it and found them that they're actually hidden. And I've been using the TV for quite some time and here are some of my favorite tips and tricks for you. Here, check this out. Just grab the Shield TV remote and press the button and there you go. It's a small thing but saves a lot of time every day. To get this working, your TV needs to support HDMI CEC, which most modern televisions mostly do. We've done a video on that, which I'll link in the YouTube cards, but in general, look for HDMI CEC option in your TV settings. Like in LG Smart TV, it's called Simplink. Other manufacturers might call it with a different name, so just Google it. Once you enable this setting on your TV, jump into the HDMI option on your Shield TV, look for the option for HDMI CEC preference, and then turn it on. From now on, you can just power on your TV with the Shield TV remote. Next up, let's play some retro games, shall we? While you can always play games from Google Play Store or Nvidia servers, did you know that Shield TV also supports retro games such as NES or SNES, even Game Boy? The setup is a bit complicated, but in general, all you need to do is have two things, an emulator and a ROM for the game which you want to play. To get started, download the emulator like RetroArch, it's available for free on the Play Store. Once you've downloaded the app, open the app and then download a core for the systems you'd like to emulate. Once you've done that, simply find the ROM for the game that you want to play and then run that. And there you go, your good old retro games on your Shield TV. Let me know in the comment section below which one you like playing. Apart from being a capable gaming device, Shield TV also kicks ass in streaming in every aspect with the support of major streaming services like Netflix, Amazon Prime Video and a bunch of others. But here's the bummer, you can't watch Netflix US, Hulu or HBO Go if you are outside USA. To fix that, just install SmartDNS Proxy's VPN APK on your Shield TV. Then use a third party launcher like ATV Launcher to bypass the invisible app icon restriction. Once you open the Smart VPN app, navigate to the country and then the server that you want to access to and then hit connect. And then a connection will be established. Netflix will start showing you your catalog of your favorite countries. Anime lovers can open Netflix Japan and I rewatch Office quite a bit so even you guys can watch it in peace. Typing with a native on-screen keyboard using the remote is quite tedious, that any Android TV user has experienced. Yes, there are mobile apps that let you control your Android TV, even lets you type, but then it's also a solution which is quite gimmicky. All Android TV versions do support keyboard and mouse, and yes, you can access them to navigate inside the Android TV. If you have something like Nvidia Shield TV or Mi TV Box, or even an Android based TV, you could simply plug in any wireless or wired keyboard into the USB port and start using your keyboard as an input source instantly. Shield is essentially Android TV with an extension of local and cloud gaming capabilities. You can install any app by just downloading the APK onto the flash drive and then later using the flash drive to install apps on your Shield TV. For example, I can install the Smart DNS Proxy VPN by just sideloading it onto a thumb drive and then installing it. All smooth till now, but then things get tricky when you try to find them in the Shield TV launcher. 
To bypass this, head to Play Store and then install a third party launcher like Sideload Launcher or ATV Launcher, which lets you view those apps which have installed via APKs earlier. Using things cross platform is always a headache, especially in the case of Apple and Android ecosystem. You can't use Apple's proprietary AirPlay anywhere else apart from Apple TV or other Apple devices. AirScreen uses multiple mirroring and casting technologies like Google Cast, Miracast, DLNA, and AirPlay gives you the best casting experience possible. To get started, download the AirScreen app from the Play Store on Android TV or TV Box, or even from the Apto TV if you have the Vi TV stick, and then install it. Start the AirScreen server inside your Android TV device, open Control Center and then tap Screen Mirroring icon. You should see a device named like AS-AFTT. Tap on that and you should see the screen mirrored. So those were some of my favorite tips and tricks that I found out by doing a deep dive into Nvidia Shield TV. Do you know any of them that we missed out? Well, let me know in the comment section below. Also check out SmartDNS Proxy if you're keen to unlock say American Netflix or even like BBC iPlayer. You can do that for about 16 cents a day. It's bugger all, yeah? We've done a video on Nvidia Shield TV games that you can play and give it a watch. I'm Vamsi, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.